Hi, Juicy Gemini. Welcome to Heaven and your love tarot reading for the day, my boo-boo. How are you doing today? Let me know in the comments below. Every cadaver, baby. Today we are doing your general energy vibe check and love. We're going to see what is going on for you in the sea of love. Who is out? Who is in? Who is getting deleted from the database? What new fishies are swimming at you, baby? Oh, is it trash in the sea? No, I know there's so much trash in the sea, but you know, there's always good fishies out there as well. There's still good, good scrumptious fishies out there. All right, <laughs> your mommy's in a weird mood again. Um, I've been like doing moods today. Every reading is a different mood. Yours is a little, I'll tell you what, Gemini, I was kind of like, <laughs> I was gonna say funky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I'm Prince or something. I was gonna say I was feeling funky. <laughs> And now I feel kind of serious. This is going to be a serious reading. I feel it already, Gemini. So let's see. Please just show me angels of love. What is happening for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is going to be serious. Some serious, yes, I see it. Mm -hmm. Serious changes, serious choices need to be made, baby. You may be choosing between two people. It could be a battle of good and evil almost. Look at yourself here, my baby strength. You know, you're battling your own demons. There's someone, oh my gosh, I feel sad. Um... Uh, we're really chain linked to it today. Um, I feel very sad. Uh, someone made you so sad. And so um, someone made you not feel good about yourself at all. And there's like an inner demon that you're struggling with because of that person. And that person is still in your energy and that person is reappearing as well here. But a new person is also coming in. Uh, a lot of people are getting this duality. Um, maybe for you it's serious today in the collectives because you are the representation of choices. Sometimes difficult choices in love. There's a king of pentacles coming your way who's new. King or queen, you're not expecting this. It's someone who's way more stable than anyone you've ever known. Um, but you're battling with uh, something right now. The Eight of Cups, it's okay, boo boo. Give me a kiss. It's gonna be okay. You know you're sprightly and scrumptious. Uh, there's a douche flu, douche flu test. Anyone in, your, uh, anyone in between in your life right now who made you feel a certain way? Uh, and you're having to walk away from that because it wasn't enough. Someone made you feel like you weren't enough. And uh, in truth, uh, they were not enough for you. Boo boo, walk away from that. Um, three of Wands in your recent past. Um, there could have been a relationship or even like, you know, a passing romance or you were talking to someone in the DMs and they recognized your value straight away. I feel like you got that reading a couple of days ago. Similar energy. Somebody knew your value straight away. They knew it. They saw it, but they didn't tell you. They didn't want to tell you. It was a secret. They didn't want you to know how important you were to them. What a douche flute. Let me clarify this energy. Look, the fool at the bottom of the deck. No jokes. All right. So we know we're dealing with a clown. It's okay, Gemini. Whoever this person is who made you feel not enough, who made you feel less than, they got ugly feet, but boo, I guarantee it. Ugly toes. Okay, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is this about? Take it as it resonates as well, Gemini, because it is a collective reading. So for some of you, it could be like totally new person. You hardly knew for some of you it was a relationship. But yeah, um, this person was uh, difficult to work with. The Eight of Pentacles is hard work. Uh, somebody wasn't putting in the work as well. The number eight is important. The eight of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. So something could have happened eight hours, eight days, eight months ago but the number eight is important. And the number eight is your abundance. So don't let some douche flute take away from your abundant, uh, abundance. Someone was suckling at the at the teat of your scrumptiousness as well. Just remember that. They were they made you feel like you were suckling, but they were suckling, okay? This is a suckling, suckling gaslight situation. Um, three of Pentacles crossing you. You got other options, baby. There's other people in the marketplace of love, all right? Other fishies in the sea, all right? Between the trash, there's other fishies. Also, Gemini, before we uh, get into your douche flute, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, baby. You look gorgeous today, as always. If you want to be my Valentine, let me know in the comments below. But, Bill, I love you. Give me a kiss. Mm. You know your mommy loves you because I'm a Scorpio, but I got that Gemini lifestyle. And whenever there's a Gemini in my life, I just like feel like you're my lucky charms. And there's a Gemini around, I know things will be okay. I don't know why. Past life connection. It is what it is. Yeah, but the Three of Pentacles, but Bill, the marketplace of love is full of people who see your value and they're not afraid to tell you. You could have met someone at work or someone who was using work to be like, oh, I don't have time for you, Gemini. You know, like, you got to understand I got important business to do. Someone made you feel very sad. I feel the heaviness and the sadness. I really feel it, but Bill. Delete from database. 
<clears throat> this person is in your near future. So they're in your energy, they're watching you, someone who's watching you from afar and working on you from afar. And also that Eight of Pentacles is someone who is a gaslighter and working on you, working you out, you know, doing the work on you to make you feel a certain way. Don't let the manipulation of that douche flute uh, get in the way of love. So you do have a new person coming in. And this is, you know, this is the battle of good and evil. What are you going to choose? Let's see, who is this person? Someone who's very stable. That, that person is truly stable. So someone here could have been like, you know, I'm a very important person, the douche flute, right? They're like, I have a lot of leather bound books. Uh, you know, my, my job is so important, job I have so much more important than you. But they're really not that important and they're not really that rich and they're not really that scrumptious. Yeah, and they have ugly feet. Um, but this King of Pentacles truly has all the things that other person was telling you that they have. Uh, that other new person, this King of Pentacles truly has that energy. They have that like stickability. Someone's holding you here. You need to be held. You need to be held. Ask the angels to hold you right now. If you're in a space where you're not feeling so great, uh, if you feel like, you know, you need to cry, cry, cry it out. Because I feel the tears are, are welling up. Okay, right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. Who is this person? How is my Gemini move people going to meet them? Mm, it's a secret. The angels are going to bring together past life situation, past life contract. Someone's coming in to dry your tears, baby. That's how you're going to meet. Uh, in a creepy way, it could be at a funeral as well. <laughs> Not going to lie, it could be a funeral. It could be a space where, I don't know, a, a place of passing. It could be a temple or a church. Uh, but it's like in a serious, like it's serious. Something serious is happening in that place, in that space. And of course, the high priestess, you know, this is psychic ability. So, you know, connecting through the internet, unfortunately, I know, but that's always, always put yourself out there, boo, boo. Uh, make it known to people that you are available. Could be when you're buying flowers as well. Or some, if you're into gardening, you might be weeding your garden. Someone's passing by. I know this is like this is ridiculous, but this is what I'm saying. If you like to, you're weeding your garden or something, and someone's passing by, they're like, hey, Gemini, nice weed cutters i don't know what you cut weeds with but mm, no clue but you know what i'm saying nice weeds uh the seven of pentacles uh who this person is it's someone who takes life very seriously it's someone who's very serious about cooperation and someone who wants to serve as well this is someone who knows if you're in your divine feminine energy this person uh understands that the divine masculine is here to serve that energy and not to dominate that energy, not to neck that energy, and not to harness or suckle at that energy. So it is someone who's going to lift you up. They're going to do a lot of service for you. Uh, and you can very easily give that person a lot of your love. So that's what that person is. Um, could be someone who does physical labor. Could be someone who uh, is an engineer, but it's someone with a lot of ingenuity and someone who has a lot of abundance to offer a baby. These energies can switch, so if you're in your divine masculine, you know, maybe uh, it's something along those lines. It's someone who's going to know how to receive your high vibrational masculine energy. And that strength here is all about that fight. It's all about the inner fight as well, you know. Um, the angels will help you. Your, um, your unconscious will help you to find the answers to get uh, over the situation that you're currently experiencing. So this is your February energy, you know. The angels are giving you something for Valentine's Day. Someone's coming in. Someone's coming up for you. But now is the time to release the, those old energies because I feel it. I feel the tears well up. And let me pick a little oracle card for my Gemini. Oh, Gemini, it's going to be okay. Trust. Trust. <sighs> and if you're the cross watcher and you're guilty, I'll see you later. All right. All right. Don't get offended. These energies can go the other way. But you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Mm, bright baby. This is your oracle card. Bright. Baby, look at this beautiful card. You have such a bright future in front of you. And there are angels. Look, this, boo -boo, she's going towards the light. So the light is with you. The angels are with you. They're watching over you. You have so much protection and so much power because of that. And also, what I feel is that, you know, the person that you were dealing with that oh, knew your value, they want to tell you, uh, you know, they did like the dirty tricks on you. They try to like mess up your mind. They try to like play games with you. But for you, you didn't. You kept your heart pure. There's a childlike innocence uh, to your soul as well. And that's a profoundly Gemini energy anyway. And also the number 40, This it's the number 40 on the card. So that's four zero, number four. That is the number of the goddess Aphrodite my personal number for the goddess Aphrodite. So, you know, um, 
you're reaching some kind of completion when it comes to understanding how love can flow through you and abundance and scrumptiousness is coming to you and through you. So just trust that. You might want to work with the, go the goddess of love. You know, whatever pantheon you relate to. Mm, if you, you know, if you work with gods and goddesses, you don't have to. You can see it as an archetype or you can see it as an actual deity. Uh, but I would uh, work with anyone who represents love. So any goddess of love is going to help you right now to achieve your peace of mind and to dry your tears, Gemini. It's okay. Bigger, better, richer, boo is coming, basically. It is what it is. But that person, you know, who did you wrong, they are also going to reach out possibly at the same time or just before. So don't get derailed by that person that happens all the time in these energies. Don't get derailed by that person who's been watching you, working on you from afar. Um, and don't let them prevent you from meeting the new boo -boo. All right, this is what I have for you today, Gemini. Let me know in the comments below the situation story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget, like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay spiky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, stay amazing, stay gorgeous, stay the most is Gemini. I don't even know what to say. Just stay your freaking Gemini self. I'll see you next time, baby. May the angels protect you. Mm.